Well guys, we are fixing to start a new project over at my youngest boy's house and it is going to be a makeover like wow. So I am so excited to be getting this done. It's something that's been needing to be done for a while. So want to know what we're talking about? Come check out this video. Well hey guys, Jeff here. Project Next One, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm so excited today. There's a project that we have been needing to do for a while. Uh, it is over at my youngest boy's house and it is doing a big facelift makeover on his landscaping on the front of his house. We have been needing to do this again for a while and uh, so we've got quite a few pieces of the puzzle to do uh, to make all this come together uh, first of all he's got whoever did the landscaping there years and years ago uh, and this is a common mistake that you see in the landscaping world or just uh, you know people doing stuff they plant a tree it's really small and they don't think about what it's going to look like 10 years down the road and in this particular case uh, they planted the tree too close to the house and now that it's matured it's just growing all up into the house up into the overhang and up into the gutters it's one of those types of trees that there's no way we can cut prune it back if we do any cutting on this it's a cedar tree and if you do any cutting on it you're going to ruin its look um, and it is there, there's no way the tree will recover from it so we're at a point we just have no choice but we've got to take it down so anyway guys as you can see I've got the tractor loaded up I've already got the chainsaw and everything so I'm headed over there now uh, we're going to be taking these trees out I'm going to use the tractor uh, Dylan has brought in some loads of dirt uh, we're going to use that uh, with the bucket and we're going to build some berms up on the front of his uh, the corner of his house and uh, we're going to be adding some new different landscaping our new different uh, uh, shrubberies and we're going to give this place a beautiful makeover and I'm so excited uh, the project will probably run over a couple of days so bear with us as we jump forward in time uh, during the course of this video um, but uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys what it looks like now and what it's going to look or what you'll see it looks like when it's done so guys uh, thanks so much for tuning in and you know me let's get busy So guys, I wanted to tell y'all, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. Uh, we're over here working at Dylan's now, and I just had the coolest thing happen uh, with my grandgirls jumping in while we were filming. I'm going to save this segment to the end. It is the coolest thing, and you're going to learn a new word. 
I don't even know. If, I don't even know if Webster's Dictionary knows that there's a new word. It's so cool. So anyway, guys, uh, be sure to stick around to the end. We'll have a little bonus video here at the end, and it is awesome. All right, so progress in the making. Um, we're gonna have to kind of divide this in two pieces because uh, somebody has got to go be in a wedding. <laughs> so anywho, just kidding. Uh, we've got this prepped and we are getting ready to uh, start mulching this. We've got all of this edged and cleaned up. And so our goal is to get this done today and then we'll come back tomorrow and finish up that down there. So somebody is gonna be bringing me some mulch and I'm gonna be doing some raking. Okay guys, fast forward to the next day. We're back here and we're gonna finish up. So just a quick reminder, we got all this looking beautiful. And so now we just, uh, Dylan just finished planting the Larapis and we just put down the new crepe myrtle and I'm getting ready to do the Spirea and the false hollies. And then we're just gonna finish cleaning out this a little bit more and then we'll start mulching this side. Oh, and one other thing we're gonna do is while we're here before we mulch, is we're gonna go ahead and wash and clean up the windows, uh, just rinse them down, and we'll do that before we start throwing mulch. So, you know me guys, we're on the last leg here. Let's get back busy. Well, hey guys, fast forward to the next day and we're back here. I want to do the final reveal. I think it turned out great. And I wanted to share a bunch of information with you here at the end of the video. So first of all, as you know, you've seen where we brought the tractor in and we built, a, we burned this up. This is all new. The a big green uh, bushy, uh, the cedar tree was here that was growing into the house. That's all gone. Uh, got that done. We added shrubbery here to fill. All of this was pre-existing. Uh, we cleaned all of this up and trimmed it. We did did replace the Larapi because they were just full of crabgrass. We couldn't get them cleaned out. And so all of this we finished up yesterday. And as you've seen in previous in the video, uh, we came in and cleaned all of this up. It was in 
terrible condition just from uh, neglect uh, Dylan's schedule with uh, the craziness that's been here recently uh, he just hadn't had time to let it go and then I wanted to share with you one little bonus feature that we did hadn't planned on doing this but in this section right here it was an older bush uh, in pretty bad shape we went ahead and got rid of it we brought in a couple loads of a couple wheelbarrow fulls of dirt to kind of build it up and this is a different type of crepe myrtle uh, you can see the foliage is much darker it'll actually uh, as it gets a lot of sun these leaves will get just a lot of dark burgundy color on it and this one will bloom purple so one of the things that we love doing here uh, is uh, my two grand girls one of them's favorite color is pink and one of them's favorite color is purple so the crepe myrtle that's on the other corner of the house is will bloom in pink and then this one will bloom in purple so it was kind of cool how we tied that in together with them. So a couple of tidbits of information I wanted to share with you while I've got you uh, at, toward the end here. Uh, the mulch, we used, if you look in some of my previous videos, uh, you've seen uh, here locally, uh, there's a, a supply place and they have the brown double ground dyed. That means it's gone through the chipper twice and you can see that there's not really any big pieces. These are kind of the biggest pieces that you see. Uh, that's why I love the double ground. And it is, uh, you can get this in black, you can get it in red, but I love the dark brown. That's my favorite personal choice. Everybody's different. And this has dye in it, so it'll help stay. This won't uh, uh, decompose uh, as fast as regular mulch will. It'll last longer. Uh, we ended up getting uh, about five yards and we still have a little bit left. We're going to uh, uh, do around the trees as well. Um, but uh, this was right at $200 for purchase. And then the shrubberies we got and the crepe myrtles we got, all of that was um, a little less than $200. So this entire project was less than four. Uh, if you're planning on doing uh, some landscaping, uh, in our town we have three or four nurseries and you would be surprised at the price ranges on different shrubberies that are the same. I know um, uh, I've seen some that are $10 to $15 cheaper for the exact same. Now you want to make sure you're comparing. Is it, is it in a three gallon bucket? Are both of them in three gallon buckets? Are they in five gallon buckets? So you want to make sure you're comparing apples to apples. But in a lot of cases you'll find that be the case. And if you do a little comparison shopping and if you're not in a big hurry you can go make two or three stops and I've saved as much as a couple hundred dollars by shopping around when I was when I was doing a, a, a new project. So anyway, those things to think about. So guys, I'm going to finish up here as promised. I've got the coolest bonus section at the end of this video that I'm going to play for you here in just a second. And thanks for waiting to the end here because it is definitely worth the wait. And again, you're going to learn a new word. It's so cool. I don't even think Webster knows this word's here yet. Uh, but for now, guys, just remember here at Project Next, there's always one more. Um, so there'll be more videos coming. I try to do a couple of weeks. So guys, please consider hitting the like, share, and subscribe. Grab that notifier so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon. And now, check out the bone. Okay, my name is Kenny. My dad put out this big weed. And it has so many stuff on it. And I'm going to make the Lord makeover with my papa. And that's amazing it. That's amazing it? Is that a new word? Amazing it. I love it. <laughs>